Hey guys, Riley here, and today I will be showing you how to turn on the main power for the DLC2. First, you will need a bucket which can be found in either one of the labs on the starter area in a couple different locations on the floor. For me, it was here. After getting the bucket, you will need to make your way up the left side of the map and open up the left lab, which is here. Open the door and go down the stairs and follow this path. Then head to the pond and fill up the bucket with this water. Then go back to the lab and empty the bucket on this generator. Then leave the lab and follow this path. Walk down the stairs and open up the door on the left. You'll see the bunker on the left also, but go through here and open up this branch. After opening the branch, you'll see the lab on the right, but turn left and open up this branch. At the end, you'll see the meteorite where you have to get the green water for the right lab. I must say it. After getting the water, make your way up to the right lab and empty your bucket in the generator like we did on the left lab. After both labs have the water, go to the bunker and open the door. Be warned though, you will have to fight a boss and some zombies. We must venture deeper into the twisted depths of Division 9's facility. After killing the zombies, head to the end of the bunker and open up the door on the left. After opening the door, head to the end of the room where you will see a switch, like all the other power switches at the other maps. But first you'll need to go under the wall and unclog the turbine. Be prepared, after unclogging the web you get locked in and have to fight a horde of zombies. Make sure to take breaths so you don't drown. After all the zombies are dead, the gate opens and you can hit the switch. And that's the power on. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like and for more subscribe. Till the next time.